defense. And that's why teams can just still want him even late in his career. Lure can't hit. Boy, I tell you what, guys, he's an extremely strong finisher. I'm surprised he wasn't able to power that through the defense. Mans passes to Bryant. Mans a screen. Bryant dishes to Nance. Outside Williams. On the wing. Phoenix grabs the miss. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Bledsoe against Hibbert. Here's Lure. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. They set the pick. Here's Warren. Rebound by Kobe. Lakers trail by 10. Pass to Clarkson. To the middle. Hibbert hits the bucket. Hibbert's got his second basket of the game. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. And a lot of teams are looking for coaches that embrace analytics and look at data-driven approaches. Coach Scott is not one of those guys. He's an old-school coach who goes with his own perception. Timeout called the Lakers. Coming off that win against Philadelphia. And with the type of defense they played that day, they were able to cause a lot of mistakes. Yeah, and causing a lot of turnovers, Greg, as you well know, means cashing in on those opportunities, which really can put a team in a bad way in a hurry. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Alex Lenz checked in for Chandler. T.J. Tucker comes in for T.J. Warren, and it's Brandon Knight in for Booker. Lenz sets a screen for Bledsoe. Down low, hands with the ball out of bounds. Hibbert touched it last. A chance here, Kevin, to take a look at the Suns and how they rank in the NBA right now. Third in three-point field goal percentage. Fifth in steals. And they're among the NBA's most opportunistic teams. I mean, in terms of scoring points off turnovers, they've carved out a spot in the top five in the league. And it's their ranking and the three-point percentage that, that really catches my eye. A team stocked with some real sharpshooters. And when you can stroke it like that, the green light doesn't get any brighter. A shot by Clarkson, no good. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. Lakers trail by 10. Nance with it. Now it's by Bloodshot. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. Robert Sacre, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Russell comes in for Lou Williams. And the Suns making a change here as well. Rice is checked in. Russell against Knight. Good defensive work there by Young. Oh, excellent interior D to force the miss. His defensive ability is a big factor. I mean, there's no denying that. The Lakers have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. Free throw good, Russell. Derek Bledsoe is checked in for Phoenix. He's off on the second. What a season for Alex Lynn last year. Came in looking to find a spot for the team, and he made huge jumps in this game. And I think it correlated with his minutes going up as well. I mean, he played a lot more minutes, and he's a very complete big guy with the added minutes. The production has gone up as expected. And here's the fast break. Russell leading the way. The pass to Huertas. Rando kicks to Russell. That one off the back iron and out. You know, you can expect young big men to improve over time, but, but I didn't think anyone expected Lynn to jump ahead so fast. Phoenix, no good that time either. Good little two-man action there, but they just can't get the shot to fall. Yeah, but that was a beauty. Good-looking shot, well-executed play. I wouldn't be surprised to see them go back to it. No doubt that is within his range. Well, I would hope so. He's a pro, and it was only a one-footer. Come on now. And, and a final remark, guys, on Lynn. I mean, his defense 
was the big benefactor. I mean, he was a force in the paint and developed into a really solid rim protector. Nice work on the inside. Hard to get that one up and over the big fella. Well, it's not supposed to be easy down there. And a little artistry on the inside helped him make it happen. Pass to Russell. Here's Burgess. Screened by Russell. Young pass to Russell. No luck, and Phoenix will come the other way. They've led by as much as 10. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Bloodso outside. Glenn, a screen. And Tucker has it in the corner. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Well, I like the way they're sharing the ball. And Bledsoe right in the middle, spreading it around. The Suns have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. And they've been ordinary on the season as well. Just about 75% from the line. Here's Russell. Takes it off the glass. Russell's got nine. And they definitely have the edge in those fast break points. Greg, they sure have. I mean, maybe it hasn't helped put them in. All right, we welcome you back to what's been a hard fought battle. Fourth quarter should be good. Lakers trail by six. Larry Nance out there with Bryant. Then there's Lewis Williams. Then it's Roy Hibbert. And it's Clarkson in at the point guard. That's the Laker five. The offensive rebound. Nance dishes to Kobe. And stolen by Booker. Bledsoe against Kobe. Bledsoe outside. To the paint. Rocket six. Kobe with the steal. Stolen by Bloodsoe. Here's Booker. No good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Clarkson kicks to Hibbert. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Inside. Good. And it's Williams who picks up the assist. And it's six points for Roy Hibbert. Loose D here. Critical stretch. I mean, you better off sending them to the free throw lines and have them get that good a look. Lutzo passes to Chandler. Here's Booker. And he gets it to go from the corner. And the Suns lead by six. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Los Angeles calls timeout. And did not seem happy about how things are going on right now and, and maybe wants to make some changes. I agree. I mean, just was not comfortable with the way things were set up at that particular time. And in that case, I think it's the right thing to do. I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Gentlemen, Byron Scott had some advice for his team in that last timeout. He told the squad, now is the time when we turn it on and leave them in the rear view mirror. It won't be easy, but guys, I know we can put them away. Let's see if they can deliver, Kevin. And Bloodso, here we go. Warren. Good on the three-point shot. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Everybody on the same page, completely in sync. Tremendous communication and awareness. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Tell you what, he can do a lot more damage to that rim than that when he wants to. And you know, Clark, with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Me too. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm glad he didn't, because otherwise we'd probably have a 45-minute delay here if he shattered the backboard. Suns lean by nine. Bledsoe kicks to Lua. To the inside, Chandler dishes to Knight. 11 feet away. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Clarkson passes to Nance. Oh, 
outside, Bryant. That really is range, and it's off target. A good board there, Kevin, but overall, they're getting slightly out-rebounded. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game. Get to work on the glass. Warren kicks to Chandler. Out of bounds. Suns ball as Phoenix keeps possession. And you know what? A low percentage pass on that one, but sometimes it's worth the risk. Well, that time the risk did not pay off because it was well defended. And the Suns call time here. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Four on the shot clock. And it's Bloodsoe off the drive. That's tipped. Can't get anything to drop. I mean, the way he's going, it's probably not something he should try and shoot his way out of. <laughs> well, they say you should shoot your way out of it, but his teammates probably have other thoughts in mind. The last thing they want to see him doing is continuing to cast that jumper up. Russell, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Suns lead by eight. Bloods are with him. Passes to Luke. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Time running out for the Lakers. Russell kicks to Bryant. Back to Russell. going to be over and back, not watching for the line that time. And, and one thing that I know a lot of fans are worried about it is NBA jerseys with ads on them. It, it's something the NBA has explored more in-depth recently and would be another stream of revenue for the league. Warren kicks to Chandler. Let's it go from 11. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for it. Lakers trail by 10. Outside, Kobe. Back to Russell. Hibbert with a screen on Knight. And it's blocked. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Phoenix has gotten two-thirds of their three-pointers to fall tonight. They're 6-9 and nine overall. Guys, I think this is a game they have to feel good about as we wind through the final moments here in what looks to be a solid win for the Suns. Tonight, they seem committed to the three-point shot. That certainly was their main meal, their bread and butter, if you will. And this will be a big win for them. Lucky win number 13 now in the bag. And as we get set to put this one to bed, a one-sided season series thus far. They've won two straight. Yep, but two more to go before the end of the season, and they'll obviously be very confident heading into those two games. And while it's a team game, you can't win without guys showing up. And that was the case tonight. Don't be afraid to make the extra pass. It's open. Take it. found them time and time again. There's a screen. Booker with it. Russell's there. Here's Toledovich. And the call will be against Julius Randle. That's foul number two for him. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Yeah, he was one step late that time, Greg. There's 31 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Five on the clock. Price dishes the land. Good on the shot. And the Suns lead by 12. That one will seal the deal there. They've exploded here at the end. Boy, I love the serious killer instinct they've shown. Finishing strong. Got time. Rush up. Get the best look. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth. Stolen by Tucker. Unhindered, going all the way. Dunk by Lynn. And really, no better feeling than to go on the road and play this well and get the win. Yeah, it's always a good win when you play the kind of game they have played tonight. I mean, especially, though, when you get it done on the road. That's a special, special feeling there. 
so it's the Suns winning easily here. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, 